are here at the Hub Soma and the Unreasonable Entrepreneurs are about to face about 50 angel investors and they're looking at trying to find money to get their ventures off the ground. I think the most important thing that our fellows need to do is let themselves shine through their presentations. Is really captivate that audience. Prove to them that they are blindly ambitious because it's that level of persistence that, that this audience is going to be looking for, that anybody is going to be looking for when they're looking to support these entrepreneurs. Twenty-five brilliant entrepreneurs working on ventures in 17 countries and hailing from six continents will convene this summer in Boulder. Living under the same roof and sharing the same meals for 10 weeks, they have convened in Boulder this summer for one reason, to create ventures that future generations will remember as having changed the world. Ventures that will effectively address a social or environmental need, that are financially self-sustaining, and that will ultimately scale to meet the needs of at least one million people. It's no big deal. stopped after about five hours of bus riding from Boulder uh, to refill, get some gas, get some goods. It basically looks like a scavenger hunt in a little little grocery shop. This is new to me. What is this? That's what we are. Yeah, man. I'm Latin America for these two cash I'm only going to sleep for a few minutes. Why? Got to work on pitches. We actually worked in the bus way to San Francisco. It was so huge. I mean, everybody with their laptops just, you know, staring at their screens and rapidly typing and things like that. Potentially, we've given these entrepreneurs the impression that the streets of San Francisco and the Bay Area are paved in gold. The Unreasonable Institute exists to give these ventures wings. And yes, seed funding is a piece of that, but it's just a piece. That audience in San Francisco is truly world class. And the greatest value add they have is not in their wallets, but it's in their experiences, and it's in the people they know and that they'll connect these entrepreneurs to. So we've been on the road now for over 24 hours. I just want to say that you guys have been absolutely incredible. Haven't heard anybody complain, and we've just been having one hell of a good time. We just entered California, really? and I'm so excited. I was the first one to enter because I was here <laughs> in the front of the bus. <laughs> oh, nature. Step out into nature, recharge the batteries. You've come all this way, you've been vetted from hundreds of entrepreneurs from around the world and you're coming there to share with them what it is you're doing. Um, so we really just want to set that tone. I finished my presentation! I still have to practice though. Good morning. The entrepreneurs who make this program up are incredible people, uh, and I hope that they can really show that to this audience. I think it's really important as you go into today um, meeting a bunch of investors. Um, if I'm an entrepreneur, I'm saying, how many meetings can I get out of this eight minute presentation? You've literally done everything you possibly can, and now you just have to kill it. I just wanted to get everybody together right before we do this. 
uh, and say, let's, let's have some fun today. You guys have absolutely earned this and much more. I think uh, you're going to knock it out of the water. <laughs> The room was packed, actually two rooms were packed with investors and they were still selling tickets day off. We have one responsibility today and it's to support these incredibly unreasonable entrepreneurs. The first thing that these entrepreneurs need to do is convey the need. What is the size of their market? How big is the market opportunity? 1.7 billion people who are unbanked and owned mobile phones, or there will be by 2012, that constitutes 25% of humanity. With this equipment we can reach 20 million listeners. One in three people around the world are affected by tuberculosis and they don't even know it. There are over 42 million people displaced in our world today. Three million women trafficked in India every year. 2.8 million college students. One billion children. 20 million people. They need to convince every person in that audience how they're going to meet that need. Thanks to our reality TV show, Mary was given the incredible opportunity of pitching her idea in front of 7 million people. Rather than a sunk expense, the base unit provided in the emergency phase will then evolve or upgrade into the transitional unit. We work with mobile money systems to provide a standard, seamless integration point with mobile money systems and the world. There's three reasons why this is going to work. In five years, we will look back and see this company as the one that changed the way international trade is done. You have to connect with them on that human element, that emotional connection. My brother, my role model, has a disability. At the best moment I share with him, I went playing sports. We're giving these girls choices they've never had before. We give them a control over their lives they've never had before. We are enabling them to decide what to produce, when to produce, how to produce, for whom to produce. When I was 16 years old, I came to know about a girl in my community who was killed because she wanted to marry someone she liked. I knew I had to do something. When I go back, I have to create a society where women are not killed for honor, but are honored and given equal status. I saw how many of these girls' mothers thought that they didn't have a choice, that they either had to live with pneumonia or with the smoke. I feel that these girls really have a bright, bright future and we have a simple solution. That together we can bring one million people off the sidelines and back into the game. Together we can make it. We believe we can do it and we need your help. We need you. I hope that you can join us in this. Thank you. The pitches were, were really excellent, but that's not going to determine the success of this trip to San Francisco. And what really will determine the success are the relationships that are or are not built with those individuals in that audience. If I had a word to describe all the things that I think of your mind, oh, it would be contrary to the things that you find in the dictionary I can't explain just another thing that you can't read and like me can't you see we're just complex weaves of everything combine your part of me these bees and this trapeze this frozen 